Hey everybody, welcome back to the Desk of Interesting Things here at Gambit Digital. It's been a little while, but we are back with something cool. In front of us here is something that got sent from overseas. This is brand new. Uh, I think it just released to market from a very successful Kickstarter. Uh, and when they reached out to me about interest in it, I was pretty excited about the possibilities uh, and we'll see how it goes when I review this thing. But this is from Travis, Expand Your World. Very clean white box, but what could it be? Well, if we look at the back, we get a little bit of details on what's going on here. So this is the Travis Touch. Now, what is the Travis Touch? The Travis Touch is not a cell phone. It's not a little pocket computer or anything like that. What it is is a universal translator, or at least... A translator I call it a universal translator because I watched too much Star Trek and I literally just watched <laughs> an episode where they featured that uh, use uh, so what this does is it translates anything now we've seen translators before um, I remember back in the day you used to have these little uh, pocket dictionary calculators where you would type something in English and it would pop up something in Spanish or something in French uh, so you can say it or you can recite it whichever is the case but this is different this is powered by some seriously impressive technology at least that's what they say and what the looks of it from the videos I've seen you actually speak into this in your native language select the language you want it output to and it will say it in that language after it translates it uh, and there is of course a slight delay but so I can say something in English set it to Japanese translate it to Japanese on the go so the idea is that you can take this little guy with you um, and translate on the go when you need to and that's something that's pretty fantastic and pretty cool especially for someone like me and someone like the team someone all of us at the team here who do a lot of interviews especially with the tech world and CES uh, and a lot of different language languages I can't speak today tonight I don't even know when it is right now that's how late it is <laughs> uh, with Japanese people and with uh, Korean people and like a lot of French and a lot of Israeli people all have their unique languages and pavilions at CES uh, and usually you have to work through a translator but something like this would make it a lot easier and quicker so let's enough with that fluff let's get to it but let's look at some of the uh, the, the specs before we look at this device which by by chance I haven't seen the final design I saw some of the demo stuff they had so this is the final design of course uh, so this is the specs inside here it's got a quad core processor 8 gigabytes uh, ROM RAM on here is 1 gigabytes Bluetooth okay uh, 4 gigabyte SIM card SIM card slot it's got a 2500 milliamp battery built-in microphone of course that's what you need dual microphone with noise canceling in case you're someplace loud like say a CES or a floor that's busy like that uh, built-in speaker and its dimensions right there if you want uh, the contents here you got a USB charging cable quick guide and booklet so this is pretty fancy uh, pretty clean design kind of looks like something Apple would do but let's open her up I got my little thing here don't want to destroy this thing <clears throat> oh there we go oh okay that is off and this is the Travis touch let's open okay it slides out put that to the side Travis oh it's got a little design on there okay very clean liking it so far at least packaging wise and I am a sucker for very cool packaging Travis And that is it. How does it come out? It comes out like this. A little thing on here. And this is the Travis Touch. Very simple, very clean, uh, very small. You know what it reminds me of? If you remember those, um, God, what were they? They were like the jitterbug phones from back in the day that you would give your parents or the parents would give their child that had like no numbers on it and you could only dial out. <laughs> pre-programmed numbers in there that's what we got so what do we got in here welcome to the world of Travis assuming this that's a nice foam again sucker for nice packaging <gasps> there's some dude I don't know what that says maybe we can translate this oh I'm assuming it says expand your world everybody is expanding and these are the people from the demos that we saw 
Travis helps you understand and understand and be understood. Man, I can't read. Whenever you need it, wherever you need it. I just said those backwards. My dyslexia is now very apparent to everyone. Language is no longer a barrier unless you are me. Go out and expand your world. Okay, so we got a little insert there. Cool. What do we got here? We got... Okay, I'm assuming that's for the card. Yeah, there you go. For the uh, SD card, mini SD card. Here is the manual. Very nice. Very simple. Haven't read it yet, so we're going to guess, and that is the cord. Uh, props to the packaging. There's more in here. Designed by Travis. So that's neat. Again, sucker for cool packaging. Apple has ruined all of us. This is the device. So let's just take a look at the device uh, on its own right here. Uh, should probably keep the manual pretty close by. Okay. So it's already got fingerprints on it, but that's what you can expect here. On the bottom, we have the charge port connector and headphone slot right there if it focuses okay on the top we have some sort of meter that's the microphone I'm assuming and some details okay so let's see about turning it on I might need to charge this usually these devices give you a little bit of juice but it doesn't look like we're getting any juice from this unless I don't know where the power is Nope, I think the power's right there. Let's give it a second. Oh, okay. Oh, no, we got power. Go global. Speak local. I'm not sure how good the screen is going to look on this camera. With all the lights, so we might have to give it some time. Okay. Uh, powered by Android. So that's the guts inside here is an Android device. Um... I wonder how long it's going to take for people to hack this into something else. What kind of games can you run on here with, with two buttons? I'm sure you can get something on here. Powered by Android. Android is starting. Oh, okay. So we got a system set up. English. Scanning Wi-Fi networks. It's going to find all our networks. We're not going to need one right now. System language. I guess we can. Uh, I think that's ours. I don't know it off the top of my head. Do I need to do this? Does it need to be set up? I suppose it does. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go set up the network stuff, and then we'll come back to this video to see uh, the front end or the GUI on this thing and play around with it a little bit, see if we can do on-the-fly translation and how that will work. So... Until then, we'll see you guys real soon. Uh, for me, it'll be a little while. For you guys, it'll be about a split second. So we'll be back. Okay, and we are back. Uh, I gave this a little charge because it went into, of course, with all new technology and update mode to get us going. So that was good. I got us on the Wi-Fi, and we are set to try this out. So update has been successful. Okay, try again. Probably should have read. No speech supported. Okay, so we want... We're going to translate from English into a language no one here understands, so you can't check my work. Just kidding. Um, actually, so let's just look at some of the uh, the options we have. We have Catalan. Interesting one to start on. Cantonese. Burmese. Cebuano. What is that flag? That's cool. Cebuano. Chikawa. I think that's Chikawa. Chinese, Corsican, Croatian, I know, I know Czech, Danish, Dutch, Esperanto, really interesting, Estonian, Filipino, there is a lot of languages, Frisian, Galatian, these sound like planets, Georgian, German, there we go, Gujarati, that's Indian, there's Haitian, Creole, very cool, Hawaiian, Hawaiian, interesting. Hebrew, Hindi, Hmong, wow. And so some of these, it looks like it can't say it back to you. It looks like it might just give you a translation uh, via text. I'm sure Javanese, interesting. I'm just going to get lost in looking at cool languages. Oh, man. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so some of these, it looks like it has no audio option for a repeat uh, back to you, which is fine. But they're in here. 
uh, so you're going to get probably an update hopefully if enough of it is used latin that, that's is it just mexican or spanish okay i'm trying to get to s norwegian pashto persian punjabi samoan this is so cool scots gaelic i man slavic somali spanish hello i'm travis Portugal or not Spain okay that's Spanish Spanish is a little different everywhere but let's see okay so I suppose we just tap this thing and I'm gonna put it up to my mouth so I'll have to move it to the speaker or to the uh, microphone that I'm actually recording them on to say something so let's try this hello I'm Travis okay what hold on hello my name is Bob Okay, so it didn't work. It wants us to try German. It says something, something, try German. So maybe you have to set this up. Hold on. We could have avoided this by reading the instructions, but come on. <laughs> I don't read instructions. Okay, so we'll try German even though I, well, I know a little German. Okay. Hi, I'm Travis. Try again. Select. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Hello. Oh. Something happened. Hello. Hello. Does that hello in German? Hold on. Okay. So. Hello, row. Sounds something like college kids would say. That was a hell row. Okay, so let's actually go to Spanish since I know Spanish. We'll go down here. So at least I can check my work. Okay, so maybe it's this one. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Yeah, that's the English. I want it in Spanish. Did I do this wrong? Hello, my name is Bob. Nope. Oh. Hey, what's up, yo? Hey, what the hell? Does this thing know millennial speak but not actual language? Hey, God, the okay. Um, let's try that again. Good morning. Holy shit. Okay. All right. We got something going. Um, God, something else. <laughs> Here we go. Where is the library? ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? There we go. Spanish. High school Spanish paying off after all these years. God, glad my brain is full of that stuff. Um, <laughs> do you own a pair of shoes? Oh, wow, cool. Okay, let's try something. I once had a dog who bit me in the butt. Una vez tuve un perro que me mordió en el trasero. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like it's these buttons. This button here, it looks like it does the translation. I don't know what these do. Um, I'm going to have to check, of course. It's just an overview video. Okay, so let's do... Okay, let's do something wild. Let's do just some language that's included that I've never heard in my life. Okay, I think I got Zulu in here. So let's see, let's see. Man, okay, so in the comments below if you're watching this video, leave me some requests for languages to try that you speak, uh, and I'll see about doing another one. Sinhala. Okay, I don't know what this is, but let's try this. Hello, I am fellow American. I couldn't even hear that. Let's try it again. Oops, 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 oops. Where's the volume button on this? Hey, what you doing, homie? Uh, 
yeah, I'm, <laughs> good luck translating this one. My slang. Okay, I don't think I don't think this is gonna work. It's trying. So I don't know if it's just translating the words, uh, because so many languages uh, rely on different forms. So you can't just directly translate the word because it wouldn't work. So yeah, it looks like it's not gonna it's not gonna go. Okay, so let's do something that some other people can understand. So let's do boo boo boo. Let's do Norwegian. Okay. I don't know if you can hear this, but we're we're trying to. Hello, my name is Travis. It's thinking. There's no slang in this. This one should be pretty easy to get. Alright, so now we're now it's taking some time. Spanish it did okay. Let's try this button. Hello, my name is Travis. Hello? Hey? No, I got it. It's just running a little slow. Is it only going to work on... Oh, no, there it went. <laughs> hey, Yig Hater Travis. It sounded like he was calling Travis like he hates a Jaeger. Hey, Travis. It's Travis the, the Jaegermeister hater. Okay, let's try... Let's try something else. Um, okay, so let's try Japanese. So uh, these buttons have to do something. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to put this through a full review. Of course, we are at the office. Right now, this is just an overview, so we're just messing about. But you, you get the idea. So let's try uh, something in Japanese. Uh, I would like to go to Super Potato. I think I messed it up. So I think this one is English to the other one. Maybe this one is Japanese back to something. Okay, so let's cancel that. Let's try this. Yeah, that might be it. I would like to go to Super Potato. Let's give that a minute. That's true. I really would like to go to Super Potato. I think there's one in LA now. All right, so this one's a little bit slower. Maybe it picks up faster once they start using more languages. Who knows? It's propeller. Oh. I don't think that was what I intended. Hold on. I would like to go to Super Potato. Example, English to German. Okay, so let's try this button. I would like to go to Super Potato. Yeah, so I'm doing, I'm clearly doing something wrong, but it does seem to work. Spanish seemed to work just fine when we did it. I really can't test Japanese all that well. So let's actually, let's go back. Let's, how do we do languages? We'll go back to Spanish just to give it one last go. You might not be able to hear the translation. I'll have to bring this closer. Okay, so let's do... I would like to get a burrito. Watch word, property. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we found that I'm doing something wrong. So let's try this button. I would like a burrito. No, okay, let's try this button. I would like one burrito. One. Oh, that's close enough. I would like one direction, please. Not all of them. Just give me one direction. At least I'll know this. <laughs> oh, man. So this video is turning into a goof right now. <laughs> no, it did something. Me gusta conseguir un burrito. Yeah, I think that's right. Me gusta conseguir un burrito. Yeah. I'm not sure... It was one direction, but it fixed it. So the actual voice recognition is good. So I'll let you hear that. Oh, hold on. I'll bring it closer to the mic so you can hear it. Hold on. See if you can hear this. 
Without me hitting the mic. So that's that is the Travis Touch on the surface. Clearly, there's an instruction manual that I need to go through because I am using it kind of wrong. Uh, but surprisingly, right on the surface, that seems to work. So it does seem to be this middle button. I think it is. I have a bicycle and it is red. Now, see, don't hit this button for some reason. Let's try this one. I have a bicycle and it is red. Angel bicycle and it is red. Okay, so that's clearly not what I said. I have a bicycle and it is red. Tengo una bicicleta y es roja. That is right on the money. So there's a couple things to understand in this video right here. <laughs> this is being shot through a viewfinder here. Then I'm set back in front of a microphone, which is farther back than this. So this is uh, the Travis device right now is probably about an arm's length away from me, which is pretty far. Uh, and the voice recognition works flawlessly so far from what I can see, at least translating or picking up the English words. Uh, and I'm not as precise as I should be. Uh, so let's try one more time. I have a dog. He died. Tengo un perro el morio. Yeah, that's right on the money. This is very cool. Okay, so before this video gets on to a half an hour, probably already is, or an hour long, uh, we're going to end it right there. If you want to read my review of the Travis Touch, it'll be ready in about a week. Uh, from the posting of this video. Link will be in the description when that goes live, and you can expect a full detailed review of all the buttons, how they work, the actual OS being used, how it's implementing its uh, languages, all that stuff. And we have a number of individuals here in the office that speak different languages, so we're going to get a good test run of this thing and how well it works. But right off the bat, the Spanish works pretty well. Uh, and I can see a device like this being really effective on the go, uh, if you travel in a lot of countries, you need quick translations. But also, I can see this working really well, especially with this tra Spanish translation uh, in government facilities and stuff that work with uh, all sorts of Spanish speakers and French speakers and, and whatever that may be. Having one of these on hand uh, might be very, very cool. So if you want to find out more, links will be in the description. Uh, visit gambitmag.com when that is up. So until next time, thanks for checking out this uh, kind of long video, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.